admitted there's nothing he can do to prevent outsourcing, but uh, there is something. Well, there is. There is something you can do is to tariff the products when they come back into the U.S. Or create a law against it. Against outsourcing? Yeah, the reason they do outsourcing is because they did away with regulations that allow them to yeah, do that. Doesn't All you need to do is put regulations back. Well, doesn't, Japan, doesn't Japan keep its jobs in Japan? Well, what difference does, you know, another country have to do with what happened in this country? Well, I mean... What happened is that we kissed the ass of big businesses and gave them the laws they required to do what they want. Well, yeah. we can do just the opposite, can we not? Yeah. If people were in charge, of course. But we're not. Yeah, instead of... And this is where I try to explain to you sometimes when you think you can change these things with, with a bop on the head. These people, the corporations, the rich, the plutocrats, the fascists that are in charge are so powerful. So powerful. Well, they have, they're all in bed with them. All the politicians are in bed with but them. But they're powerful. So it is hard for, an certainly hard for an individual, but even people like Occupy Wall Street. So they'll pass a... What can you do? So they'll pass a law that calls a protester... A terrorist. A terrorist, but they won't pass a law that penalizes a rich corporation from breaking the law or from, from uh, ill-gotten gains. Because back in the 80s, a new mindset took over. Wherein, if you go and you watch that John, the uh, John Oliver Daily New Daily Show thing, I think it was on Thursday. I'm not sure about the difference between the Canadian and the American banking system, where our banking system, you know, gave us the meltdown, the financial meltdown, whereas the Canadian banking system works on the old laws of correct, true moral banking. Okay? Well, it's the same thing. Anything in America, there's the mindset. Anything you do in America, except prostitution and pornography, anything that makes a buck is legitimate, moral, yeah. and your God-given right to do. Yeah. Well, as far as corporations are well, concerned. The, the right-wingers obviously do not treat all sin equally. They pick and choose their sins, and uh, that's why they arrest the John and the prostitute and the, the, the porno... Uh, well, I've never seen a John that was arrested. They may want to shame him and embarrass him, but they've never arrested him. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's always a woman. No, well, they yeah they'll they'll put the John's name in the paper. That's right. So his his uh, wife or girlfriend or whoever. They want to shame him. Significant other. Yeah, they want to shame him. Want to shun him like the English do. Yeah. Well, but I'm sure the right wing politicians never ever hire a call girl to come and visit them. Oh well, they just got caught doing it. Down in Costa Rica, and then uh, another thing, the State Department. Yeah, they they, they do it. Item. And I bet the taxpayers pay for it all. This yes, they do, and they also pay for their croissants and their coffee. The House of Representatives, the Republican Congress, spent like two million dollars. Two million dollars yeah. of taxpayers' money on coffee and donuts, and pastries and uh, whatever. Not their own money. Heaven forbid they should kick in their own money Ooh. into the pot for paying for all this. No way. Oh no. And this is the do-nothing Congress. Well, they sure do that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll spend taxpayers' money on partying. But God forbid you spend taxpayer money on the poor. Or passing some laws when you're working instead of... Oh, well, they passed that many. was 37, 38 times to get rid of Obamacare. House of Representatives. Yeah, but well, there's not one law that Republicans pass that benefit mainstream America or the poor. 
or even mainstream America, or, or what about middle class people? I, I don't know of any laws that they pass that help middle Not class, recently, people, that's for middle damn class people. The taxes, the tax burden continues to go up on middle class people, mm -hmm. which includes small businesses, entrepreneurs, mom and pop stores. Well, they are getting put out of business, number one. Yeah. By your big box stores, and yeah. etc. Well, I was, I was talking to somebody on my group Holistic Health Talk about the fact that uh, originally America relied upon Main Street and, and local organic farms including livestock, dairy, vegetables, fruits. That is the way to go. Local, organic, small, family-owned farms and not big agra, especially genetically modified big agra. That's how the big boys got the laws changed in their favor. That's what we were talking about <clears throat> with Bill Morrow about greed. When does it end? You know, we got to vote. You got to get behind a progressive independent. Forget about the two party system. So, uh, I think that, what's his name? John Oliver? John Oliver. They should give him his own show on MSNBC. Ah. Is he good enough to. He's to, a comedian. He's a comedian, but they... they well, why they, would he go on MSNBC, I know, I know. you know? Uh, you have to be rather serious to go oh, on MSNBC. Is, of course. To be taken serious, you to can't be, be a comedian. In other words, you can't... That's probably, you know, that's probably why one of the reasons The Daily Show is very, very good with their satire and etc. and getting the truth out. But, but they, some people dismiss it as being comedy. But they do it in a humorous way. Exactly. And there are people who look at everything as entertainment and do not want to learn anything. Right. So they dismiss it. Why do you think uh, the most ridiculous crap on, on YouTube gets the most hits? People just want to be entertained. They don't want to learn anything. They don't want to learn anything or change themselves. You know, like uh, the Michael Jackson songs, you got to start with the man in the mirror to make a change. You see, uh, you see a demon? You're looking at something. I some. see a man in the mirror. That's a good movie title. The man, man in the mirror. In the mirror. Start with the man in the mirror before you look. That's good advice. Before you look at others. It's called repenting in the Bible. Well, if everybody looks in the mirror and changes the man in the mirror or the woman in the mirror, then automatically the population will start becoming more positive. But that makes too much sense. And in the end times, making sense doesn't really yeah, cut it. Cut it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, things are prophesied to get worse. Yes, you hear that, people. Regardless, you know, who gets in in the two-party system, things are prophesied to get worse. All right. Now, are you finished with that reading? Unfortunately, I have a decent here one that requires a lot of time okay and answers to it but now we don't have the time. do you want me to take that article and take and next week whip it out so you don't accidentally throw it away I have it here it will never get thrown away okay, it's on top of my stuff here to be read okay because sometimes when you read 50 percent through something and, and in the days when we didn't have the memory to cover the whole show, you would like toss it. But you're not going to toss this one, correct? Okay, so. Por favor, pour some more. Pour some more, save it. All right, and the, and the, the, the ones that we did discard it. Which is that what you normally do, right? Yeah. Okay, if you want me to discard it now, I'll discard it now. No. Okay, you'll do it. All right. Take care later. Thank you for joining us for a very, very interesting and invigorating uh, and hard-hitting progressive discussions. Yes, we we figuratively busted some heads with the shillelagh. Yes, we did, but the coconuts have to be cracked in order to get that. I got a lovely lunch of coconuts. In order to get that medicinal elixir of life out of the, out of the coconut, it must be cracked. And I say we did a pretty good Kraken. Yeah, why is a giant squid called the Kraken?
in remember during during mythology it's on uh, one of them uh, scotch commercials no yeah there's a no rum the hawk of uh, no there's and then the uh, kraken there's a rum called the kraken yeah, and they have kraken. a picture of a giant squid on the label oh i'm sure that just gets people to buy that i could you it's cute i wish i had I, Maybe I'll have some cracking with a, uh, uh, on the rocks with a lime wedge tonight. Oh my lord. When I get my new computer. Oh my lord. Yeah, say so long to these people, please. So long, people. The cracking.